I'm developing an app, blah, 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 and I don't know what it is. And actually the whole point of doing a pitch is making a human connection, right? So very often people forget to just say, hi everybody, I'm Liz, I'm from Ireland, I'm an associate professor here at IE Business School, right? Or I'm with this company X and this is what we're doing. So just coming on stage, presenting yourself, like without having any kind of masquerades or barriers up there, just saying your first name, who you are, you're happy to be here, makes a huge difference. You may or may not have already worked on slogans for your app already, but I, lo I love slogans, right? I'm kind of a sales and marketing person. So anything that can give me even an indication of what you're doing. So I'm Liz and I have a mobile app and I'm gonna change how you shop for fashion, right? So, or shop on the go or whatever it might be, right? So it's really interesting to work on a catchphrase and actually bring that in straight away. So we get some hints of what you're working on. Um, a lot of you guys jumped in talking about the application you're building and that's totally fine because that's what I asked you to do when you were introducing yourselves. Um, but it's more, it's far more effective to actually start with the problem, right? So especially you guys, I think that, that problem is very tangible around say small business owners and they're so busy and they've so many fires to put out. How do they know every single day they're doing the right things to actually progress their business, yeah? So will we build an app for that, you know? So kind of putting that on the flip is usually pretty effective um, and it's got to be something really painful right so again your story around surfers right I could I could connect to that instantly because I've actually experienced that problem you can not assume that the jury knows the problem you're trying to solve so you can put them into context so that was a random connection but if you were talking about Many surfers, all they want to do is get into the water, but they have to spend hours driving from beach to beach to beach to find the decent way. But there's nothing more frustrating than sitting on a beach with your board and looking at the glass, you know, and not knowing where you can actually go and where you can surf. It's got to be really painful, right? You have to find a way to make the problem really painful. Receipts, expenses, I mean, that has to be the most mundane, torturous task. Right, but we have to do it because that's money. We're burning money if we don't actually get through that and get the receipts done and get them through. And you have to put the jury or your audience in the context. You have to do it regardless of whether I'm working with receipts or I do my expenses or I'm even a surfer. You gotta put us in the context and you usually do it through a persona, right? So Juan is a, is a fanatic surfer. He surfs like four days a week, et cetera, et cetera, right? You gotta show me the person and how they're actually feeling this problem today. And that's where you tie it into the solution. Only then do you actually come in and talk about what your app does. Right, so you can talk about business owners, every single task they have to do every day, they gotta do their receipts, they gotta do their expenses, they gotta do all these tasks that we're already familiar with. Imagine if there was a way that we could just automate this, that we could actually use business intelligence to connect all these algorithms, input this data in automatically, whatever might be used, text visualization and translation in terms of the receipts or the paper files, and put them all in a simple tool with a beautiful dashboard. Right, so it's gotta be so simple and beautiful, we're kind of like, wow, why, why didn't I think of that, right? I mean, the best ideas are very often the most simple ones, yeah? Um, and it helps as well to build a story around this, right? So you gotta create a villain. You gotta create a villain and a hero, right? So who, who's, who's the evil person in this problem? Who's the source of this problem, right? Um, and who's gonna save this? Who's gonna save the day here, right? So it's connecting this problem to an actual persona and your solution to a persona as well. It just makes things way, way easier to understand. Um, for example, BillGuard is a company mobile app um, and what they do is they track unexpected expenses in your bank account, right? So what you do is you connect your bank account and then you connect all your little bills. So you know you have your mobile bill every other month, you have your utilities bill, you have your gym membership, whatever it might be. Any discrepancy on those regular payments where my mobile bill is standard fee, so it's $80 every single month, but last month it was $80.50 and it popped up and it was on your bill somewhere because Telefonica were like, hay un cargo de no sé qué porque nos mola, you know? And then, and you don't even realize and you're like, okay, it's 50 cent. Nobody's gonna go through all their statements and look at this, you probably won't even notice. These guys, their whole philosophy is that by working together and identifying all these tiny discrepancies together, we can kind of take on the big guys, right? So their whole marketing and branding is around as a community, 
If we join together, we're the little people, we can take on the big companies and we can actually spot these issues and it's crowdsourced and um, build discrepancies, right? All across, and mostly in the US is where they've launched, but internationally as well. So it's really exciting how they've positioned that, that by grouping together and democratizing, we can create the power to actually take on the big guys. Because nobody's going to ring Telefonica customer service five times in a row. Te lo juro, 50 centimos más del año del mes pasado. Esto porque es, porque no me habéis visitado. So these guys work on that dynamic of a villain hero all the time and it's about empowering the little guy to take on the big guys who are robbing tiny discrete discrepancies from their accounts every other month but 20 cent here and there across 100 million people is a significant amount of money and this is actually the founder the guy um, on the right there and they constantly I've never seen these guys without the t-shirt on now this company has raised almost 50 million dollars already they're doing incredible stuff based out of Tel Aviv, but they have offices in New York, um, and they call themselves the Guardian, right? So they wear these t-shirts, they look like Superman, they're always pulling them out, they have these shields, and they call themselves the Guardian. So they really play on that kind of villain and hero story, and it works really well for them. Um, but it's about creating contrast. Um, good, bad, good versus evil, uh, problem, solution, pain, and resolution, right? So we're really painting two pictures there. Anybody know this analogy in terms of building products and solutions? Right, so you can be a solution that fixes a problem, that resolves a pain, or you can be a solution that makes me stronger, right, that makes me more prepared for maybe something in the future, or maybe if I have more vitamin C, maybe I'll get less migraines, or I won't get a cold next week. But just be really careful where you are, and it's extremely hard to sell the vitamin. It's extremely hard, right? It takes exponentially more on the sales side to actually solve that problem. Because especially depending on the customer segment you're looking at, consumers are so fickle. We now don't have the attention span to look or be caught by anything. I mean, we become very desensitized to advertising channels. I mean, does anybody even see a Facebook ad anymore, right? Never, you know, because they're there. Like people, we kind of automatically switch off when we see new advertising channels. If something new comes in, we do it, but we get desensitized instantly. So unless I'm looking actively for a solution to this pain that I feel like, holy shit, I'm getting a migraine, I need to take something now, quick, what can I get? It's very, very hard to sell. And it's the same to businesses, small or large businesses. People are so kind of short on time and high on pressure.